All right, here's my replay demo. So first, we're going to load in. And uh, fool around like this. We go over here. And that's just great. And then uh, we press B. And we see the replay. There it is. Deterministically reproducing the simulation. And then I press J and I'm back in. I just popped into the simulation. And I'm continuing off and uh, gonna go uh, do more run. And then uh, if I want to see the, the run uh, so it, it actually took the data from the bot and spliced it into my current recording. So I'm continuing from where uh, the point in the middle of the bot playback, I'm continuing from that point. So it takes the instructions from there. All right, let's, let's do a, a bot again. So uh, it does this thing, and then we go over here. And I continue, pick it up, and it keeps going. And now what I can do is I can press N, and it will write it out as a new bot file. And that actually deletes the bot, but it wrote a file. So now we can go look at the file in uh, strafe.net, strafe project tools. So the bot file should be short. Um, it's pretty huge because it's including a bunch of uh, idle instructions, like thousands per second, because that's the frame rate. Um, but uh, let's load in to this bot file. Oh, that's the wrong map. It actually can load a bot file on top of the wrong map. So here's the uh, the bot that I just created. And of course, um, I can, uh, so I have some controls, like I can speed it up and slow it down and jump ahead as well. And then uh, jump in. And uh, the mouse messes up, but that's okay. Uh, I do need to fix that the mouse. But yeah, there's my tech demo of uh, Behop bot recording and bot files. This is deterministic playback of inputs. There is no uh, positions being saved. It isn't saving where you went. It's only saving what you did. There it is. B. Do it again.